This is the wildest guitar that I've ever come across. You're not going to believe the sounds that come out of this thing. Welcome back for another installment in the world's weirdest guitars. Today we're checking out the MCI B35 Guitar Organ. A guitar that's essentially been gutted and turned into a guitar organ hybrid monstrosity. This instrument is an absolute trip. But before we get to it, I'll quickly let you know that today is the last day in the holiday sale going on over my course platform. Over there, I've got a number of courses that are designed to get you over whatever hurdle is holding you back on guitar. Like the biggest thing a lot of guitarists could benefit from is understanding what they're doing musically. For that, my course is The Rudiments and Beyond the Basics teach music theory from the ground up to a more advanced level. Or if you have some hangups with soloing, the craft of soloing looks at musical storytelling and the style of soloing looks at the fun flashy stuff. And my newest course, Elevated Open Chords, is all about bringing new life into your chords. And today is the very last day of the sale. You can get any course, any bundle, 50% off when you use promo code XMAS23. So get that. While the getting's good, you can find more information at SamuraiGuitarTheory.com. I'll put up links in the description. So at every stage of the guitar's history, somebody out there has been pushing the boundaries of what this instrument can do. But for every successful experiment, there's also a crazy experiment that largely gets forgotten, like the MCI guitar organ. And if you think about it, the guitar and the organ followed similar timelines and were destined to collide at some point. The first Hammond electric organ came out in 1935, the same time electrified guitars started appearing on the market. In the 50s, electric organs were being used by jazz, R&B, early rock musicians, and by the 70s, they were intrinsically tied into the sound of rock and roll. This trajectory is pretty much the same as the electric guitar, so at some point, someone was going to try and mash them up. This first occurred in 1966 when Vox released their guitar organ, and a year later, MCI began manufacturing these. The company MCI, or Musiconics International, was located in Waco, Texas, and they would take cheap Japanese hollow bodies, fill them up with electronics, and voila, guitar organ. This one here is from the late 70s, and while they weren't especially popular at the time, you do see them come up now and then on the online market. So moving on, let's take a look at this beast, and it really is something else. It began life as an Ibanez 2355, which is a cheap overseas knockoff of a Gibson ES-175. All the guitar organs are in hollow or semi-hollow bodies because you need somewhere to store this gargantuan sound generator thing. Here's how it works. It's been refretted with some special customized frets. A single fret has six sensors built into it, one for each string, and if the string makes contact with one of these sensors, a signal is sent into the sound generator, triggering the respective tone. Each fret has been modified like this with wiring going through the truss rod hole connecting them to the supercomputer. So functionally, it's quite close but not exactly the same as playing a typical guitar because you don't actually need to pick it. All the action happens in the fretting hand. Now I'm finding I still have to pick it anyway. It's just too weird for my brain not to. But what about the open strings? Well, that's what this little button right here is for. It triggers the sound of any string that you're not fretting. So while strumming may look a little weird, you can play those open chords. Alternatively, you can also control this whole thing using the kill switch right here. You flip this switch and now everything is silent until you press this button. Then moving on to this button here, I'm not sure exactly what it's for, but if you press it, it triggers a tone, so I think it's for tuning, and the tuning happens with a little wheel behind the pick guard. The draw bars here color the tonal qualities, and then our other features are located down here with these buttons. The red buttons give us our instrument emulators. We've got flute, accordion, and vibraphone. Here's how they sound. We can further modify these sounds with the gray buttons. Perk is for percussion, giving us a clicky, attacky sound. Sus is for sustain, and that makes our notes ring out longer. Vibe is for vibrato, which gives it that pitch fluctuation, and I feel like this is the magic button that really brings it to life. And then we have the octave button, which takes everything down the octave. 
And then to run this thing, we also need these two very important components. We've got the unique multi-prong cable, which goes from the guitar into this massive stomp box thingy, which I guess is the power supply, as well as a volume pedal. And then it converts the signal into a quarter inch cable, which goes into your amp. And so now that you understand how this whole contraption works, let's have some fun with this weird guitar. And as well as being a guitar organ, it also is a fully functioning guitar. Let's see how it sounds if I combine the guitar with the organ sound. Now my favorite organ sound is that 70s rock and roll, overdriven, deep purple sound. And you would get this by running the sound through a crunch pedal that sounds like this. Now organs and Leslie spinning speakers go hand in hand, and guess what? I've actually got a spinning speaker system that my dad made, and the way that this works is there's a speaker projecting the sound downwards, and then this spinning baffle pushes the sound in different directions, and when you pair the spinning speaker with the guitar organ, you get something pretty awesome. Now I can mess around all day with this, but we gotta do the official Sammy G review. This guitar is over 40 years old and more than likely it's never been serviced. Electronics this old are on borrowed time. It cuts in and out, some of the settings work intermittently and one of the draw bars is extremely noisy. Like listen to what it sounds like when I turn it up. I don't trust it. If something were to go wrong, there's no manual, there's no schematics, there's no customer support, because there's no longer a guitar organ company, you're on your own. And if you need new frets, a new cable, a new pedal, this just becomes a real expensive doorstop. However, it is unquestionably a ton of fun to play. There's no latency, and the sounds are actually pretty decent for what it is. There's a learning curve with it. Like, I didn't realize that I'll fret notes before I play them, or I'll fret notes that I'll mute. With this, you need to take that into account, which makes playing in time and cleanly quite difficult. And the thing is, it is completely obsolete technology. MIDI guitars and pickups came along and now you can turn your guitar into any sound digitally without any of the headaches that this brings along. So there is something to be said about only having a handful of features and controls. It forces you to be creative within those confines and like people say, limitation breeds creativity. All in all, it's very fun, very weird guitar that I absolutely would not recommend buying. So to wrap this up, let me do what I always do, which is try and show you what I think this guitar does best. And to me, that's a jazzy, gospely type of thing. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, the MCI B35 Guitorgan, another one of the world's weirdest guitars. Remember today's the last day of the holiday sale over my course platform, you can get any course, any bundle, 50% off when you use promo code Xmas23 at checkout. We're not gonna be doing a sale like this for quite some time, so get that while the getting's good. You can find more information at samuraiguitar3.com, links are in the description. And of course, a great way to support the channel is picking up some of that Sammy G merch, like the guitar playing Transformer t-shirt that I've got on right here. Got a bunch of t-shirts, bunch of different designs, all available at shopsamurguitarist.com. Thank you all for watching, and of course, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.